Who would be the audience for your media product? For my magazine, the target will be a mainstream audience with a main demographic age of 16 to 25 with a median age of 19, a male gender audience dominance of 60%, 48% of my readers are students, and an ABC1 profile of 45%. Students and ABC1s are a good demographic as they have the most disposable income to spend on the products distributed by my band. When creating my media pack, I wrote that the life of an encore reader revolves around music and they are looked up to within their peer groups as a social capital and source of information about the latest albums, gigs and music news. Encore readers have been discovered to be 67% more likely to go to a festival than other music magazine readers as they find the experience thrilling to be surrounded by music culture. My magazine is a rock magazine with a slight focus on the subcultures, Dick Hebdige, 1979, that adolescents are more interested in, such as emo, heavy metal, goth and pop punk. Therefore, the way the readers will appear will be unconventional, perhaps with piercing tattoos or wearing alternative clothing, like those who feature in my magazine, as this is the stereotype, Walter Lippmann, 1969, of individuals within rock subcultures. As the majority of my readers are male, they may be into gaming. Horror films are also generally associated with those people who like rock music. They may play an instrument, such as the guitar or the drums. Therefore, my imaginary entity, Ian Ang, 1991, is Chris. Chris is a 19-year-old boy studying music technology at Sheffield Hallam University. Rock music is his passion and his entire life revolves around it. When he's not listening to it, he's studying it, talking about it, watching it on music channels or watching it live at gigs or festivals. He's the social capital in his group of friends who are always keen on seeking Chris's encyclopedic knowledge of the rock world. Chris is heavily influenced by his rock god role models who influence him to make it big with his band. Chris sees himself as an individual with a dress sense reflecting his heavy music taste and has an interesting selection of intricate tattoos and piercings. Those around him see him as a fashion trendsetter and his view on life is shaped by the tunes he is into at any given time. How did you attract slash address your audience? As my demographic is mostly males, I decided to use a photo of a woman as my main cover image, as men would perceive her as an ideal partner, whereas women will perceive her as an ideal self. Carl Rogers, 1981. So she's attractive to both genders. The girl, Hannah, I used as an ideal self as she has an alternative look, as she has piercings, dark makeup and green hair, connoting that this is what cool looks like therefore prompting female readers to look like her. As Hannah has a representative look of the demographic of the magazine, she acts as a role model, suggesting that the girl next door can make it within the music industry. As men would see her as an ideal partner, she is perceived via the male gaze, Laura Mulvey, 1975, as she is nice looking. I chose a picture of Hannah where she has a direct gaze so as to Im imply that she is looking directly into the reader's eyes. I also featured men in the magazine so the women can look upon the men as their ideal partner and men can look at them as an ideal self. For the double page spread, I chose an image in a graveyard as a stereotype, Walter Lippmann, 1969, of those within rock subcultures, Dick Hebdige, 1979, have an interest in horror and dark subjects. Therefore, I chose a house style of black and red which connote danger, death and gore. Throughout the making of my magazine and in particular when writing the body copy, I wrote in a teacher to pupil slash peer to peer mode of address so as to not look down on my audience yet to inform at the same time as I wanted my magazine to feel like the social and subcultural 
cultural capital, Sarah Thornton, 1995, of the genre, and therefore my readers must read the magazine and feel as though they are talking to a friend. To achieve this, I have used colloquial language and swear words such as awesome and swag as to promote the anti-establishment attitude of rock cultures. I also added a win section so the reader feels they can gain more from the magazine and by placing this on the front cover it is one of the initial things the reader sees therefore could persuade the reader into buying the issue. I made the word win a different style to the rest of the text so it stands out amongst the rest of the cover lines. I needed to make my magazine seem as though you could not receive the information from any other source so on the cover I used the words such as exclusive and access all areas which connotes the reader is not missing any information. I also featured bands in the magazine which fit into the rock genre. Therefore, my demographic would find the magazine interesting.